Breaking news. India is hosting G20, but Putin and Xi aren't there. Modi expresses his sorrow for the Moroccan earthquake victims. We'll keep you updated on the G20 summit as usual, but for now let's turn our attention to Morocco, where a powerful earthquake has killed at least 296 people. The 6.8 magnitude earthquake with its epicenter in the High Atlas Mountains, 71 kilometers, 44 miles, southwest of Marrakesh, occurred at 23.11 local time, 22.11 Greenwich Mean Time. In this difficult time, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed his condolences to the victims and offered assistance to Morocco. After the attack, he took to X, then known as Twitter, to express his condolences to the people of Morocco. Both Russian and Chinese presidents have decided not to attend the G20 summit. Russian President Vladimir Putin claims he is too busy to respond to an arrest warrant issued by the International Criminal Court, ICC, earlier this year on charges of war crimes committed in Ukraine. The G20 summit is likely to be derailed by this conflict. Russia claims it is not at war with Ukraine, but rather conducting a special military operation in the country. It will not sign on to any declaration that demands Russia's withdrawal. Since taking office, Chinese President Xi Jinping has attended every G20 summit. Vice President Joe Biden expressed his displeasure, and the decision is being interpreted as a slight by India. To date, China has been hesitant to sign any document condemning Russia for its actions in Ukraine, despite being Russia's most important strategic ally. Trade between the two countries increased by 30% last year despite the strict sanctions imposed on Russia by Western countries. A large number of security personnel, estimated to number in the tens of thousands, have been stationed in Delhi this week to ensure the safety of the summit's delegates and visiting world leaders. The government of Delhi has ordered all schools and businesses to close for three days. The summit location, in the heart of Delhi, is subject to particularly stringent security measures. All public entertainment venues and businesses are closed from Friday through Sunday unless absolutely necessary. The Delhi police are in charge of security, but they've had to call in thousands of reinforcements from other government agencies and even paramilitary forces to keep everyone safe. It has been reported that the fighter planes of the Indian Air Force have been sent to Delhi to ensure the safety of the city's skies. The Group of 20, G20, is a club of countries that gets together once a year to make plans for the global economy. There are representatives from the 19 largest economies in the world and the European Union. They account for more than two-thirds of the world's population and 85% of its economic output. Some non-member countries are invited each year on a case-by-case -case basis. Over the past few years, the summit's two-day duration and expanded agenda have allowed for discussions of pressing issues like climate change and renewable energy. The G20 presidency is passed from one member each year, and this year it will go from India to Brazil. For more information on the G20, click here.